We're going to be tying a classic uh, pattern, uh, especially for fishing selective uh, trout uh, in flat water conditions. This is the X Caddis. I've got a TMC 100 size 12 in here, again just to the size of your naturals. U70 is my thread. I'm using black. You could definitely scale that thread down too. Oh, absolutely. The 70 is a pretty good size for, for tying trout flies. Builds up nice heads and it's easy to work with. Uh, so the first thing I've got here is a trailing shuck of Sparkle Emerger yarn. It's a cool Antron product. It comes in a really nice form. Again, pretty easy to work with. We like easy. So that's tied in. I'm going to extend that back just a little bit shorter than the length of the shank. Next thing I'm going to do is dub a body forward. I'm using ice dub uh, in the UV tan. Make a small noodle of that. And we want to taper those bodies from skinny towards the rear end, a little bit bigger in the shoulders. bit more on there. I'll bring that out a bit. So anytime you've got trout that have a long time to look at a bug, this X caddis is a great choice. Uh, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to stack a wing. I'm using a natural comparadon hair here. Taking an amount of hair that's probably uh, about half of a number two pencil. Remove all that excess under fur. Take the tips for point first down into the hair stacker. Give it a couple wraps on the table. Once the tips are even, we can pull them out. We're going to do a little pinching and measuring here. I want those to be about the same length as the dub body. So I'll put that in place and I'll pinch. Notice how when I make these couple wraps, my fingers never leave that pinch position. If they do, whoops, broke my thread there. Uh, you will lose your, your wing if it's not tied in uh, properly. So make sure that you stay on holding that, that material. little excess there. So again we're going to go through the stub ends here and make sure that they are all secured down just so that we can uh, have a wing that doesn't rotate out on us, a little bit more durability. Make a few wraps there and build up the head. At this point in time I will whip finish. Now we're just going to go in, trim off that head. You may need to take your scissors or your bodkin and kind of separate that out from the actual points. Get all those stubs nice and clean. A little extra trimming. And there you have a completed Ice Dub X Caddis. One of my favorites. Hope it's one of yours too.